First one, what is a field of force? Did they say what force? Not exactly what, they just say force. What field are? Gravitational field, electric field, magnetic field? We don't know. So this means to a general definition. So a general de definition is a region of space. Okay, field of force. What's the field name? We draw the dotted line. So say it's a space. If you talk about a region of space, this is already, already one mark there. So a region of space that does what? Where there is a force acting on a particle, a mass, or something like that. So how you can write the sentence is, for example, a region of space where a force can act on a particle of certain property. What property? It could be mass if it's a gravitational field. It could be charge if it's an electric field. Okay, so different, different thing. So where the two marks come from? First one, region of space, where a force can act. Particle of certain property, property, if you didn't mention it, that's also okay. So it's only two marks, oh. one mark here, one mark here. Ding. Number two, define gravitational field strength. Ah, now they're specific, they're very specific. Gravitational field. Oh, field of force is general one, more. it's very general. Now do you want to talk about G fields? So you say, what is ge ge gravitational field strength? Hmm, this one is our force per unit mass. If you ever confuse or forget, remember this. F equals to mg, very familiar, right? I said that now we are talking about the G. So G is F over m. So you can use this equation to guide your definition. So you can say this is gravitational Gravitational force per unit mass. Yeah, so that's how you can talk about G field strength. How strong is the field? That we determine by how much force acting on a certain mass. Okay, so it's one mark, usually a B one mark. But today we won't worry about the A, B, C, D. La. We'll just call one mark here and there. Okay, moving on. Now this is a G field question, chapter 8. An isolated planet. Why they say isolated? Very far away, so you assume no other gravitational forces. Isolated planet is a sphere with a radius. Oh, I see this. I straight away put there R already. With its mass concentrated at the center. Oh, this one is M. Calculated, uh, calculate the gravitational field strength at the surface of the planet. So if I draw my picture, I like to draw pictures to help me brain the question a bit. Planet, mass M. And you have a certain radius, right? Uh, okay. And you want the gravitational field strength at the surface. So you need to remember how to find gravitational field strength. G equals to gm over r square. Okay, remember this one, uh? gm over r square is gravitational field strength. Ah, you forgot already, make an equation sheet. So this one already one mark if you manage to recall or write down or use this equation somewhere in your working so give yourself a mark if you got that if not make a note okay so we need to plug in everything we know g is a constant 6.67 times 10 negative 11 that you can find on the first page of every past year mass of planet oh they give to us 6.42 times 10 23 kg ah. okay correct kg divide by at the surface right so at the surface means i want to be here so from the center to that surface, the distance is r. So I can just plug in my r there. So this will be 3.39 times 10 to the 6 meters, right? Yeah, correct meters. Okay, so you do your calculation. You should get about 3.73 for this planet. Is this Earth? Ah? No, this is not Earth. Earth is what? 9.81. So this one, something with slightly lesser gravitational field strength. I guess. Okay, so if you notice, oh, I go and write the answer as 3SF. Why? Uh, because I I like 3SF for a reason. I notice, wow, oh, this one 3SF. This one also 3SF. This one also 3SF. I think I better write 3SF also. La. Okay, la, okay, la, so I write 3SF. But usually in most math game 2, the 3SF is okay. 1SF is no, no. No more 1SF in paper 4. 3 marks, 1 for equation, 1 for substitution. If you sub in correct values into the equation, and one for correct final answer. I add some A1. Okay, so this is part B. 
part C, calculate the height above the surface of the planet where the G field strength is 1% less than its value at the surface of the planet. Oh, wow, so many. How to bring? Okay, let, let's reread this. Now you're calculating the height above the surface where the G field is less, 1% less than its value at the surface. Oh, so I redraw a bit. Okay, okay. We stay calm, we redraw. So here you have the old planet. We know the G at the surface already. Right? We know G surface. But now you are at a certain height above G. So this is a new G that we are trying to find. Two Gs here. G at the surface. Now you go up some more. Certain height H. That H is what we are trying to find. Okay, let's break this down. 1% less than value at the surface. That means oh, now your new G over here, this G is 99% of the G at the surface. Okay, you can write this down. I'm just, you don't need to write this down as working. I'm just writing this so you can brain what's happening. Okay, so now you go further. G is weaker, 99% because 1% less. 1% okay? less. So you can transfer this into an equation. So G that we're trying to, the new G is going to be 0 0.99 of G surface. Can find or not? Can find, maybe can find. Okay. How to find? Huh? Um, you can use your previous value. Yeah, this, uh, this one, and the, this is G surface. And calculate. Or if you did not get to solve that part and plug inside here, another method is to Use the whole equation again. Lo. So if you, this is another method, lah, the longer method I show you. So 0 0.99 over GM over R. This is how you can do another method. So GM, GM, you divide both sides, no more. Lo. All you have left is R squared equals to R squared over 0 0.99. And this will give you a R. 3.407 times 10 to the 6. Okay, nah? So this method is if you didn't know what is G surface from the previous part. Because here suck in. Nah. So this is method 1. Method 2. Just in case you're wrong up there, you're scared you're wrong, you do this again. Nah? Okay, so this is how we can do that. Now, don't write R inside here because that is not what we're looking for. This is not the final answer. We need to find H. So look at our diagram on the left. That is our H. What is R? Uh? R, there's two R. Oh, a bit hard to draw. Eh? Okay, okay, I, I redraw. From center to surface, that is R. From surface up to a bit more height, that is H. This whole thing is small R. That is how I define my thing. Uh. So we want to find H. So we can say R is H plus R. Why I write plus plus plus. R equals to R plus H. Okay, the whole thing is two parts now. So we want to find H. So that will be R minus R. R we just found down here in meters. So 3.407 minus what's the radius of the Earth? Check your paper radius. Oh, 3.39. Okay, so we write that 3.39 as our radius times 10 to 6. Now, this kind of, it's okay. La. You can use 3.407 or you can round it off to 3SF, 3.41, because it seems more matching. La. It will be okay if you use either one. La. So I'm just writing it this way. So this will give me 0 0.02 times 10 to the 6 meters. A bit hard to write like this, so let me change it to standard form 2.0 times 10 to the uh, what is this thing? 10 to the 6, uh, correct? 2.0, uh, yeah. This part is up to you how, how you want to write this prefix form. So if you write, if you want to follow prefix form, it must be one digit like 2.0, and then you put everything else behind. So this will be times 10. Times 10 to the 4. Can I? If you guys use 
3.407 to plug in, you will get about 1.7 times 10 to the 4. Also okay. Can also. Because it's your rounding mark in between, right? So you guys, three marks here. Wow, where the three marks come from? Final answer is one mark. But I think at the final answer, never mind. One part is if you did calculation for R, small r, this one. This whole part lah, working. The other mark comes if you did this substitution to minus this part. Because some people, they stop at R, they're like, yay, 3.4 is the answer. No, 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 must minus some more, okay? So three marks for this one. So that's all for the first question. So check and see how much you managed to get for this one. If you missed out a lot here, then remind yourself, oh, maybe I should go and check out chapter 8 a bit more. Okay, so this is a chapter 8 question, and this is total of 9 marks.